Hello, everyone. Wouldn't it be great if we could use ultrasound in a similar way as we use CT or MRI scanners? Wouldn't it be great if we had the same possibilities of providing full documentation of entire structures, multiplanary constructions, and having full three-dimensional volumetric information for patient monitoring and interdisciplinary image communication? This privilege has been for the radiology department so far. But wouldn't it be great if we could do all that with the image post-pressing and image analysis after having scanned the patient and compare these scans to images from the past? The good news is we can. My name's Robert. I'm co-founder of the Austrian German medtech company Pure Imaging. And together with Visual Sonics, we have revolutionized three-dimensional ultrasound. If we look at current possibilities of diagnostic imaging, ultrasound has always been the first line of diagnosis and for a good reason. In general, it's very time and cost effective. It is very safe and very well accessible. A big challenge in ultrasound, however, is that it's very much depending on the skill of the user and um, it's hard to document big structures or full structures just based on screenshots. The big machines, on the other hand, they are lacking resolution for many applications and they expose the patient to risk and side effects, not to mention costs and logistical efforts we need to make. Our product called the Infinity System combines advantages of both techniques, ultrasound, and especially high resolution ultrasound and tomographic imaging modalities. It's a full 3D imaging system providing tomographic views. It is very safe and affordable and it allows full documentation of the structure we are imaging and also communicating those images to other departments, to colleagues or surgeons. But what's different when we look at general 3D ultrasound, because 3D ultrasound is nothing new. It has been out there for a long time. Um, but from my point of view, it has never made it to clinical practice. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Usually 3D ultrasound comes with matrix or mechanical probes. And they have a strong limitation in terms of size of volume, length. And they are always depending on that very transducer and therefore resolution and frequency. With our system, we are independent on a transducer and frequency. We can use the transducer that we need for that very application. And we do not have any limitation in terms of length or size. Theoretically, we can scan a meter or two with that system in full resolution because the best image resolution you always get with the 2D transducer. And this is how it works. The Infinity system consists of two hardware parts and the software is running on a standard laptop or a workstation. One thing is the infinity box, which is connected to the video output of the ultrasound machine, grabbing the images and transferring the screen over Wi-Fi to the laptop or the workstation. And at the same time, we are connecting a little sensor, the infinity sensor to the transducer in order to detect the movement of the probe. And in the software, we are merging both information together, compounding volumes, and then doing a very specific image processing that I'm going to show you in a second. But that's enough of the theory. We will now go into practice and show you a live scan. But first of all, I would like to show you our setup that we have here. So I'm stopping the screen sharing now, and you will see the setup with the camera. So here we have the VivoMD with our system connected already. We have the infinity box standing on the ultrasound machine um, and already connected to the video output, which is here on the screen backside. Just to show you how that box looks like, I will bring it a little closer. That's another one. Here we have the video out that we connect to the screen and the sensor is attached to the transducer, I have here as an example, the 48 megahertz probe. 
and I'm taking the sensor from the box. And that sensor is attached to the probe just by clipping it on and off very easily. All the information is streamed wirelessly to our system, to our software. So I will share again now, not the presentation, but our software that you should be able to see in a second. And I will ask my colleague Mina, bringing the camera a little bit closer so we can do some actual real life scanning of, we will do a forearm in that case to show you how the system works and how it performs. Okay, so I hope you can see that well here. We have the wrist of my colleague. We'll put some gel on first, then I'll explain to you what is going on in the software and in the image. We will scan a radial artery now. And you see now the screen of our software. It's not from the ultrasound machine, but it's in our software. And that is exactly the clone of the screen that you see on the ultrasound machine. And that laptop can stand anywhere in the room. The sensor is attached already to the transducer. And I have a little remote control in my hand, which is essentially just a presenter that I used for the presentation here, that I used to control starting and stopping the scan. In order to scan the patient to get the best results, we scan always in transverse, so it's not panoramic. It's always in transverse, axial, axial view, and we scan with about one to two centimeters per second. I'm not recording now, just explaining in one direction, so we shouldn't go back and forth. So just sweeping over, usually it's a matter of 10, 20 seconds, depending on how long the scan is. So I will make the scan, first scan now. And I would ask you, because I will do a couple of scans, to just to rather watch my hand, uh, not focusing so much on the image, because it's important to understand. So just need to focus from the zoom. Here you go. OK. So first scan recording. And if you look at the probe now, I will do a little curve and a fan. It's not really important what we have scanned. What is important though, is to understand that it doesn't need to be a linear movement, okay? So the sensor is picking up the movement of the probe depending on what shape you are doing. So, if you followed what I, what I did with my hand, that's exactly what I did, going a curve and doing a fan in the end, picking up all the information because it's a fully volumetric and quantifiable data set. We will do another scan. And now we can focus rather on the images that we're scanning, just for you to understand how this works. Okay, now I have followed the radial artery for about 10 centimeters. And now the images are being transferred from the box in full resolution to the laptop over the Wi Fi. And we will see the on the fly reconstruction here. That was a straight scan as I did, makes most sense in an artery. And in order to review the image is being compounded in a matter of, of seconds. So as an explanation, just put away the probe to explain. <clears throat> Here we have the 3D volume showing the result of the scan. And here we have in the center of the image, I hope you can see my mouse, we have the original image coming from the ultrasound. Okay, so this is nothing else than like a video we have recorded and the red, blue and the green 
boxes or the multiplanar reconstructions as you might know it from CT or MR. So I can visualize them here. This is the red box. You can see them moving in the left image. This is the sagittal view. And this is what is actually really new to ultrasound in general, because you don't have it with 2D, is the coronal view. So we can scroll through in any angle and what is special for the reconstruction, if you scroll through, basically using that slider, which is the single frames, the transverse view and the video are identical as long as I don't change the angle of that image than it is looking from a different angle. Here I can also again visualize the probe to see how the movement was done. And one specific thing about our software is also that it's not just visualizing a big gray cloud like you would have in a different view, because that doesn't give you too much information. We have specific dedicated applications that are suitable for, for example, visualizing vessels. You can see here the radial artery, you can see here a little crossing vein, and I have the possibility of doing a bunch of processing. So for example, if I want to cut that little vein here free, it's a rather tiny vein. Let's see if I can manage to do that. I am changing the angle now and I can use a cropping tool to just crop free that little structure and I can do that with any thing, a nerve, a vessel, any structure that I want to see. Because a big issue is that if I have the full data set visualized in 3D, um, it's just over blending and I have too much information. So I'm, I can either crop or also segment structures that I'm particularly interested in. And again, this is the entire data set. The unique thing here, especially when we're doing this uh, with such a high frequency, this vessel is less than a millimeter wide. And this is, this is nothing you can do with conventional ultrasound. This is something only possible using ultra high frequency. So I hope you understand the concept of how the acquisitions are made. Again, it's just a very easy sweep over the structure of interest. You only need to have it covered in your ultrasound image sweeping over. It's a matter of 10, 20 seconds, and then everything is inside the software. So what we're doing is we're basically separating image analysis from, um, from the scanning procedure itself. I would like to show some other examples that we have previously acquired or also have acquired with our um, medical partners. So for that, I just stop my video because you probably want to focus on the, on the software now. So here we have an example of a cephalic vein. Again, we will show the full scan going among the vein, we have a branch here. And if I isolate the vessels as I just did the other minute, you can see only the cephalic vein in 3D, plus you get the reconstruction on the right side. So again, I can, for example, here, turn the angle, could even like fade out the 3D because I want to focus on the reconstruction side. And I can also do some little, a little processing on the gray values that I want to focus on. And especially here, the coronal view is something very unique and unusual in ultrasound, let's say.
the reason why we call it tomographic ultrasound is that we treat it like a CT. So we have the possibility of like bringing this information to the puck system uh, and sharing 3D images, th sharing screenshots, sharing rotational images, and sharing the reconstruction slides, uh, slices with, with colleagues or just archiving them for, for monitoring or surveillance purposes. Another example I, um, I prepared was uh, start with the thyroid. So we have scanned a thyroid, in that case with the 22 megahertz probe. So let's have a look first on the slices again. So we are coming here from caudal to cranial towards the head. I've covered the thyroid only in transverse and have the virtual sagittal view nicely set up. We have here the <clears throat> the artery, the carotid artery next to it. And in that case, we have already segmented the thyroid that we can just isolate here with the cropping, just showing the 3D view, only the gray values of that thyroid. A potential application for dermatology would be, for example, imaging a mole. So this is also something we have done here. Let me show you first how that scan was being performed. So you can see here the probe model in replay in real time. That took like five seconds. And we can see here the mole nicely in the reconstruction. And especially in this application, from my perspective, I think the coronal view is really spectacular because if we go from the top, see the mole here going more towards the skin. Now we're entering the skin and even here inside, we can see nicely the borders going deeper. See it again here in the multiplanar view. And again, doing this cropping of that structure. And the last example I would like to share with you uh, is my personal favorite because it has been acquired uh, from our clinical partners is a median nerve, a nerve that we have segmented. We're using it to, to measure um, compression and um, measure area every millimeter. But the nice thing here is that this median nerve, you can see every tiny little fascicle and that is only possible with such high frequencies. This has been acquired, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, with the 48 megahertz probe. And you can see here a crossing vein, and these are the corresponding images. Let's make that a little bigger. And again, just to get an impression of the dimensions we have, we're talking about here, this is the scan and replay. So as you can see, with the combination of tomographic ultrasound with the infinity system and the Vivo MD ultra high frequency, it is possible to use ultrasound like a CT. Thank you very much. And now I'm looking forward to some good discussions in our Q&A session later.